I mean, look at these views. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we have this little water source and I've managed to fill up my bottle. I think it's the last water source um, before the climb. I don't think we're going to get one up there by the looks of it. Maybe over there on the ridge. It's been an interesting little walk so far. Stopped a few times, talked to a number of gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. A big shout out to Kenny and Alan, I think it was. Sorry if I've forgotten your names. That's the joys of having Phil Bowen and ADHD and a little bit of autism. I'm not good with those social situations. Anyway, I'm about one third the way up in this little gully, little valley. And uh, that's me just about to break off. There's two paths, one that goes up through the gully but uh, misses out in the first one row. And the uh, path that I need to take, which is zigzaggy and rather steep. But the views here are absolutely stunning. And uh, I imagine Gaz is only about an hour behind me, so I reckon he'll probably catch up with me just before the second one row. That's the first summit out the way. Not a bad trek, nice flat walk. You get to some bog, but it's easily avoidable. Uh, tough going, get steep. And then about 200 meters before the summit, it's a bit of an ankle breaker. Uh, it's quarter past four, so it took me three hours to get here. Uh, I want to get set up no later than half six, well really no later than half seven. I want to catalyze on the daylight. Um, it's about four kilometers to the next main row. Uh, the plus side, it's shorter than the walk I've done so far. I've done about, what, six kilometres. And a fair chunk of it's downhill. So, downhill's quicker. As you can see, uh, it's clearly uh, not clear. Um, is that Irony? Or is that Alan S. Alan, is that Alan S. Morissette, whatever her name is, the singer? Uh, she made a song about Irony, but I don't think anything was ironic. So, I'm going to try and you know, bomb forward, capitalising this daylight. I don't know where Gaz is, I've looked down uh, when there was visibility, uh, when there was no cloud and didn't see him in the distance. So, going to bomb forward and I'm not looking forward to the ridge. Thank God for that. Gaz is only about 45 minutes behind, maybe half an hour. It took me about three hours to get to the summit. He appears to have done it in under two hours. But guys, check the views out from up here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. And as you can see, it's raining. The rain clouds are coming up. Or well, coming, coming down or coming in. Uh, done a video along that path. Takes you to Loch Dockard. But we'll be pitching Somewhere over in that direction. Look who it is. I'm dreading this. That's us finally reached our destination. We're only about, what, 70 metres from the summit. But the weather deteriorated badly, as you can see, and from the previous clips and future clips. And we just wanted to get pitched up. We'll likely, unless the weather improves, we'll likely just bag it in the morning and head back down, because it's only 6 kilometres to the car. And the moon was just right there. But yeah, it was scary. I took a little panic attack. 
had this really weird profound thought which just had a massive impact on my mood but thankfully guys he was with me he was like morning eh, morning eh, morning eh. and then before you know it my mood was up and then we just smashed it um that's me dry i've got dry clothes on as well we've got two down jackets but i'm a little bit chilly but i think that's because i'm in a calorie deficit but i've got my two curries i've got this one here which is a pinda chana aloo a chickpeas and potato spicy curry with ginger and whatnot and my sag and i've also got two big bags of rice two big bags of rice but um difficult mineral very difficult mineral this one especially it was um a very narrow ridge i had to be careful an ankle breaking boulder field uh, there was some scrambling which we didn't anticipate uh, the terrain before was just perfect it's my ideal terrain but once you're up here well just before um, it's absolutely terrifying. I uh, don't think I'll be revisiting. Maybe coming up, in the, it's a circular route. The going down is not too bad. And I believe just beyond the summit, there is actually some flat high ground. So maybe return if I take that route instead of the initial route that what Kylan's recommends. But what I'm going to do now is I'm I'm going to show you my setup. I do apologise, can't get the greatest of footage because of the wild weather out there and I'm trying to stay warm and dry but I'll give you a rundown of my setup and hopefully I can get Gus to do a rundown of his setup using his GoPro Of course, I've got my big Agnes third degree, and over here we've got my inner liner as an extra Celsius or two to the sleeping bag, and prolongs its lifespan. I've got with me the Black Ice, the Black Ice G700, rated between minus four and minus ten, or is it minus five and minus ten? Got my cushy little flannel pillow that's never once let me down, and here we've got the light to our sleeping mat. Quite similar to a honeycomb design. It's got an R value of 5.4 or something. What I'll do is I'll bring up the specs and I'll show it on the screen. Um, it was super comfortable the last time and it was super warm the last time. So I'm really looking forward to this sleep. Um, potentially the best and most comfortable sleep mat I've had to date. But give you an idea of the wood for the tent. Uh, I've got my mat here, I've got my closed cell phone mat here, and I've even got more room here. So it's a roomy tent, it is ideal for two people. You've only got a little pocket down here, which is disappointing. But I'll show you the headroom. And the headroom, this is actually me sitting down at the bottom of the tent, and you know, with my hat on, you know, I've got a bit of a uh, headroom. And um, as you can imagine, if I was sitting in the centre, I'd have plenty of headroom, I wouldn't even be touching the top. Oh, we've also got a little lantern hanging point we've got two vestibules we've got two vestibules uh, symmetrical and nylon rent i'll show you this one um there's the zips you can't go wrong with a zip how else would you get in your tent i've not pitched the tent properly as well i'm on a slope so it's going to be a pain in the back side uh, getting comfortable uh, the bags as you can see digging into the what do you call it vestibule area but when it's nice and taut there's plenty of room it's like the cloud peak if you know the cloud peak, you'll know how spacious that is. This is, um, I would, uh, from what I've seen from the specs online, I'm pretty sure it's both slightly longer and wider. Um, I'll need to check what the headroom's like. I think it's very similar, very similar. But um, Gaz is over there. It's about 8 p.m. Um, I'm a little chilly, and if anything, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm going to have something to eat.
that's about half past ten. Still raining lately. And we've got a little... Oh, got the hiccups. Got a little bit of wind as well. Just watched a bit of the Forever Pudge there. Forever Pudge. It's an okay wee movie, but I would really recommend it. Good, good grief, these hiccups. Um, hoping to get up about half past six tomorrow. Be packed up for about quarter past seven. Going back, that's it. Oh my god, where these hiccups came from. Going back that second in row. Hopefully, start descending around quarter to eight. And be back. Oh my god, be back at the cavern in about ten o'clock. So, hopefully, guys, there will be one down his set up and that he can send the clips over. Um, stuck in the tent again, so I can't really do much. I was too busy focused on staying dry and warm. So I hope you've enjoyed the content so far and I'll catch you all in the morning. Well, good morning you all. I had a good sleep last night. Went to bed about quarter to eleven and woke up about quarter to six. No, quarter to seven. Um, the light to your sleep map, super comfortable, super warm. The Black Eyes G700, super comfortable, super warm. And uh, given I was on uneven ground, I managed to flatten out to the best of my ability. So that's me and guys getting packed up. Again, it's about quarter past seven. So I'm going to get that mountain bagged and we'll see how guys got on as well. So here we have Gaz and his Hilleberg Enon. Guys, I think we've, is this the one we keep saying? It's the greatest vestibule on the planet? Yeah. Greatest vestibule on the planet. I stored the waterproofs this morning, eh, well, during the night. They've actually dried up quite well, the waterproofs. What did you have for your sleeping mat and sleeping bag? Oh, what did I have again? The uh, Feminist Hyperion. Feminist Hyperion and the uh, Feminist Neo Air X firm. And my usual Sea to Summit pillow. <laughs> Rated down to about minus 50. Uh, well, well, the sleeping bag's a wee bit lower than my winter bags, obviously. Did you have a nice warm sleep? Comfortable sleep? Yeah, it was decent. I think Gaz was the same as me. He went to bed about quarter to 11. So first while camp for two months. First, first while camp in two months? Since Covid, eh? So I wasn't sure how we get on because I did my setup was a lot different uh, back then. Had more winter related stuff. This will be my second. But the, what can I say there? The, the lighter pack helped get around the, the mountains, or you would have noticed that anyway. Uh, the pack really light yesterday, I think it was about it's under 7 kilograms anyway to hold the water. And it's just over 7 with the water, eh? Under 7? Uh, no, mine was about 18 or something. 18. It was ridiculous. Yeah. That's why I was struggling. But we're going to head up, but well, we can't really see it. But we're going to head up and bag that uh, Monroe. Yeah. Get back to the tents and uh, take them down back to the car and get, uh, get the hell out of here um, the weather was a bit rainy for a period of time during the night but <clears throat> then the rain stopped the winds completely disappeared and if anything it was uh, rather on the mild side didn't really feel it to be that cold or anything it felt like it was in around about what 6 celsius mark do you think? 7 celsius I don't know if the phone will pick that up, let's see if the phone will pick it up. Oh, the phone's picking it up, so we're going to head up there. Mission accomplished. Second Monroe, second Monroe done. Um, you see the snow patches? Still some snow patches, which is surprising given it was a mild winter. But really disappointed in my performance. I did it in the Walk Highlands time, but... I was supposed to do some physio for the past year and I've lazily not bored my backside. So hopefully now that I'm eating healthy, I don't longer, I don't longer touch ultra processed foods, but you're looking at So hopefully that'll make a massive difference. But what we're going to do now, head back to campsite, put the tents by and then get back, just get after this bad boy. So me and Gaz would like to say goodbye. There we go. Uh, Thanks for joining guys and take care and I'll see you all in the next adventure.